Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey friends, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. This is your home for organic Bible study. This is what we like to call the Bible Bistro. So come on in here. We've got all natural Bible study, no artificial ingredients, and it's minimally processed. So you know it's fresh. 100% Bible, that's what we use. That's all we use. We're looking today at Psalm 60. We've been looking at Psalm 60 this week, and today we come to a very, very interesting passage. I love this. So we've had David speaking. He's basically complaining. He's said, you've cast us off, you've scattered us. He gives us seven things that God has done. And then we come to verse 4, and we totally strip the gears out because we go from the things that God has done to divide and to cause his people harm in a sense— you know, he's cast them off, he's made the earth tremble, he's made them to drink the wine of astonishment, and then he says, you've given us a banner. You've given, you've given a banner to those that fear you, that it may be displayed because of the truth. And then you're going, well, okay, wait a minute now. So, and then in verse 5, we have his third petition, save with thy right hand and hear me. Now, God responds to this statement, save with your right hand and hear me. So verse 6 begins God's response, and we have his speech recorded for us in 6 through 8. Let me read that for you. God hath spoken in his holiness. I will rejoice. I will divide Shechem and meet out the valley of Sukkoth. Gilead is mine, and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the strength of mine head. Judah is my lawgiver. Moab is my washpot. Over Edom will I cast my shoe. Philistia, triumph thou because of me. Now that ends his speech. It also ends verse 8. And so he speaks in his holiness. And what does he say? It's interesting, isn't it, that when you think about God speaking, we don't often think of the Psalms as a source or a place to go to find the, you know, the speech, the words of God. Uh, We think of the Psalms more devotionally and poetically, and that's appropriate, but there's so many opportunities and places in the Psalter where the Lord directly speaks and the psalmist records it, and that's what we have here. If we wanted to, if you're thinking just off the cuff, well, where can I go in the Old Testament and hear God speak? Well, you might go to Genesis chapter 1, or you might go to Abraham's story in Genesis chapter 17, or, you know, 20, 19, you might go to Jacob's story. You might go to some of the other patriarchs, uh, perhaps in the Judges or someplace like that. But here we have him speaking directly to the reader in the Psalms. God hath spoken in his holiness, quote, I will rejoice. I will divide Shechem and meet out the valley of Sukkoth. Gilead is mine. Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the strength of my head. So he goes from place names such as Shechem and Sukkoth and Gilead. Those are places and regions to tribal names. Manasseh, Ephraim, Judah. And notice how he goes, he says, Manasseh is mine, Gilead is mine, Ephraim is the strength of my head, Judah is my lawgiver. So these are all positive God's rejoicing over his people, and then he rejoices over those that are not his people. Moab is my wash pot. Oh, that don't sound good, though, does it? My wash pot. Edom. Over Edom will I cast my shoe, as if God had a shoe. But, of course, this is figurative language. You know, he's, this is how he's going to deal with them. He's going to bless his people, and he's going to judge those that are not his people. So David's complaining save with your right hand and hear me. And God says, oh yeah. He says, Gilead is mine, Manasseh is mine, Ephraim, Judah, all of this is mine, and I rejoice. At Moab, my wash pot. Edom, I'm going to cast my shoe over. Philistia, I'm telling them to triumph thou because of me. And I'm sure that that's inferred there. You better triumph because of me. 
Join me tomorrow. We'll take up verses 9 and 10 on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.